So something you may have noticed is that our theme no longer has the admin bar, the toolbar at the top, right? So when I go to the admin section, it's still there, okay? And so are all the button colors and other styles and fonts that were there before. But here, we lost all of that, okay? And the reason why is because that's how themes work. When we switch to our custom theme, we're no longer using the style sheets and the other template files that made those other themes work the way they did. We're using our own. And right now, and I'm gonna go over here to WP-Content, and then Themes, and Custom Theme, we're just using these two barebone files for the purpose of learning. But if you were curious about getting that admin bar to show up again at the top here, the way you do it is like this. You just go over here to line, you know, kind of at the bottom of your uh, index.php file, the one that we're working on, and you could add a line of code that says PHP and then WP underscore footer. So again, this is another one of those special functions that comes from WordPress. If I save this, so Command S on a Mac, Control S on Windows to save, and make sure your server is running. If you go over here and refresh, there now you've got that admin bar and it's got some styling issues you know it's cutting off some of our text we'd have to add some CSS to address that but I'm gonna go ahead and remove that for now because we're not gonna need it right now but I just wanted to show you that that is the function that's necessary in order to display that uh, admin bar there and it actually gives us a couple of benefits as well when we have a more robust theme if I were to right click here and hit inspect okay this is google chrome's inspector tool and let's see it may show up like this for you on the bottom let me zoom in here okay what's going on is this is just a rendering of of the html this is kind of the raw form of the html down here and i can hover over the different elements if you haven't used this tool it's an extremely powerful tool for understanding your code but you'll notice down here, a bunch of stuff got injected here um, from that one line of code that we added. By adding this, we're getting all of this stuff for free. And so that's an example of what these functions do. They have these kind of powers, these things that were pre-written by the WordPress developers. And when you add a certain line of code like this, it does things like inject code, which then adds an admin bar or something else altogether. So this is all the stuff that's been added. Now I'm going to remove this because we're not going to use this for now. So if I remove that and then save my file, go back over here and refresh, there you go. Now our HTML file or our PHP file, if you will, the index.php file, is just rendering exactly what we have on there right here. So I just wanted to point that out for you. And just so you know, the reason why you saw that admin bar on the other themes, no matter what page you were on, is because if I go to my other theme that was default, you don't have to do this. I'm just going to show this to you. The one that I had active before was 2016. That was the default theme that my installation came with. And if I go down to their index page okay, and double click it, They've got all this code here. They've got the loop going on, if you can see. There's the if has posts. There's the while. This is where the loop is. And then they're outputting, you know, some other code. It's just a little bit more complex than what we're doing. And we'll get to kind of understand how to do this. But down here, they've got this get footer. Okay, that's different from WP footer, the one I just demonstrated. This get footer goes and grabs another file this is a template partial okay so this index.php is a template file that defaults as the home page footer.php is a template partial and this line of code just basically says hey go grab the stuff from this partial the footer partial and drop it in right here at line 62. so if i double click this let's look at it and i'll scroll down again don't be overwhelmed here but you'll see there it is. There's that WP underscore footer. And that was injecting the stuff that created the admin bar over in the front side of the website. So I just wanted to show you where that was coming from. It comes from this function right here.